that's what you get. And honestly, Subarus are a lot of fun. Baby, hit it. So when I first bought my Subaru, one of the questions I was asked a lot was, why would I buy such an unreliable car? Well, the truth be told, it's not an unreliable car. Now the reason why you hear WRXs have blown engines and failed transmissions and turbos, and people destroy them by adding so much power, too much power, that the stock engine just can't handle. General rule of thumb is the more power you have, the more unreliable a car really is. So that's why people think Subarus are unreliable because a lot of Subaru owners modify their car to the point where it becomes unreliable. Now what do you really get when you buy a Subaru WRX? You get a, a four-cylinder turbocharged all-wheel drive sedan that you can take the kids to school in and then take the car right to the track. That's what you get, and honestly, Subarus are a lot of fun. Now, here, let me explain. Airport's such a cool place to come to. Let's talk about some of the pros and cons of owning a Subaru. Now the cons are very obvious. The biggest one being the price of the car. I didn't like the light being, oh, come on. It's gotta be a better camera angle. They're expensive, right off the bat, 30, 40,000 dollars. And it's not just the upfront price, it's also everything that comes after. Maintenance, repairs, right down to the fucking gas. You cannot put like 83, it's put like 91 or 94, preferably 94 or higher. Now after that, aftermarket parts, they're also very expensive, but it's a very, popular car and people know that they're going to be making a lot of money off of Subarus because there's plenty of them out there. Another con really is the maintenance. You have to stay up to date on the maintenance. You can't slack on it. Uh, these cars are like babies. You have to take care of them every single day. Wash them, maintain them, put the best possible liquids and fluids you can into them. This thing will break down on you if you don't take care of it. That doesn't make it unreliable. Anybody who owns a car should know how to maintain a car. But honestly, there's more pros and cons. A pro is turbocharged. Not to mention it's an all-wheel drive, four-door sedan. Uh, you can own a sports car and put a kid in the back seat of it. Like I said, take your kid to the school, then go right to the racetrack after. Adding onto that all-wheel drive, you can drive it during summer, during fall, during winter. Hell, it's winter right now. Probably can't tell, it's like January. You can take it out during winter and then take it out during summer. It's an all-year-round car. You don't need no winter beater. Another plane just took off. And adding on to that turbocharged part, there's a lot of horsepower for a family sedan. Not really a family sedan. A stock 2018 WRX makes about 270, 280 horsepower. That's a lot of horsepower for a four-door sedan. And another big pro about this car is, like I said, the aftermarket. It is so easy to make this car unique. The amount of stuff you can do with this car, you can keep it as a sedan, and keep it as a, uh, a showcase car, or fuck, even a race car. You can rally it, you can drift it, you can't drift it, it's all wheel drive. You can rally it, you can track it. There's so much to do with this single car. It is a blank canvas, and you can do whatever the fuck you wish with it, honestly. Issue about going to the airport? There always seem to be planes flying by. Pretty much the point of this video was to say, Subarus are not unreliable. People are just idiots and make them unreliable. If you're gonna modify your Subaru WRX, spend the extra money, Spend extra time putting on the parts. At the end of the day, buying the right components are a lot more cheaper than buying a whole new engine or a whole new car for that matter. I definitely recommend doing your research before buying this car. Because like I said, it is very high maintenance. If you don't maintain it correctly, you will destroy the car and you'll be down 40 grand. That's the airplane like number five. That's pretty much all I had for this video was just saying like, yeah, it's a cool car. 